Hey, hi, hello my friends, it's Christy with 4AM Junk Journals. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I am here today to do Collage with Christy number 23 with you. Um, now this was number 21, this is the last one I did. Last week for number 22, I did post the prompts and a sample image, but I didn't actually get to do the um, project. So I'm going to skip this page because this is for 22. And then we're just going to come back here. And this is where we're going to create Christie's collage or collage with Christy number 23. And then I'll go back at some point and do 22 and post the uh, video for you. I just did not have time last week. So your prompts for this week, oh, if you're not familiar with Collage with Christy, it's something that we do every week on Saturdays now over on Junk Journals Craft Some More. Um, I give you three prompts and a bonus prompt. We just uh, make a collage with the prompts, have a good time, and share our art with one another. We don't uh, send anything, nothing to mail, no postage to pay, nothing like that. Just Fun making the collage, sharing the collage, ooing and eyeing over each other's creativity, and inspiring one another. And please forgive my hands. They are covered. My daughter dyed my hair last night. So I have black and cherry red hair dye all over my hands. <laughs> so excuse my hands. <laughs> all right. So your prompts for this week are a garden, um, a hot air balloon, a piece of lace and a postcard. Um, so here's what I've got going on. I have several different garden images here. Um, now this is um, kind of like people out enjoying the garden. This is a window garden. This is the garden with the flowering trees. Um, again, people out enjoying the garden. And then we have a couple of images here of the little boy playing in the pond at the garden and the woman working in the garden. So we're going to make that work somehow here. And then um, I have this for a hot air balloon, which is kind of, you know, muted or, or um, I guess that's the right word. It's very light, but it was the biggest hot air balloon I could find, and the only one I could find that wasn't very, very whimsical. Um, so we're going to use that. I had some great images that I wanted to use, but unfortunately right now my printer is out of ink. So I'm waiting for my ink delivery, and as soon as it gets here, I will be um, able to print again, but right now I cannot. Um, okay, and then for postcards, my friend Tammy over on Junk Journals Crafts and More um, back at Christmas time, uh, sent me an Amazon wish for er, these um, vintage postcards. These are travel themed and they are wonderful and I've never gotten a chance to use them. And so I picked this one out. Now, don't mind the license plate. I think that's a little bit odd, but, <laughs> um, but I think that is going to be a wonderful addition to this, um, this, uh, thing going on here and I have tons of lace sitting right here beside me so we will just pull a piece of lace and use it um, perhaps we will use something like this because it's got a nice uh, vintagey color to it so that may be what we do okay so let's figure out how we want to cover this first um, and I'm not going to be too particular about like the matching so I may do like a window anyway, garden. Maybe we'll do here. a window garden over here and we'll do a collage of garden over here. I think is what we're going to do. Okay. Not sure where my glue stick is. So we're just going to use my uh, Fabri-Tac. And I do still have a couple of bottles that have just a little bit in them that I want to use up. But I didn't want to put y'all through all that. So we're just going to use this one that's full. So how is everyone today? I really hope you're doing well. Um, before we get too far into this, and while I'm just gluing and can talk to you, I wanted to remind you guys about the um, giveaway that I'm doing on my channel beginning this month and going forward. Um, so each month for every uh, 
comment or for every video that you comment on from that month. So any videos that I put up in August that you comment on, it will get you an entry into the drawing. So let's say that I put up three videos and you comment on all three videos, then you'll have three entries into the drawing, if that makes sense. Um, so, and then what you'll win is, um, so on September the 1st, I'll do the drawing and I'll draw two winners. And each of those two people will receive a free digital copy of every digi kit that I have made in that month. So meaning that every digital kit I make in August, the two winners I draw on September 1st will get every single digital kit I've made in August and put up on Etsy for absolute free. Um, any of them I've put up on Etsy or Kofi, but really I don't put, or coffee. I really don't put anything up on coffee that's not on Etsy unless it's a freebie anyway. Um, so, again, if I put up, say, five videos, you comment on all five, you have five entries into the drawing. On September the 1st, I will draw two people, um, and each of those people will receive all the digitals I have made in the month of August and put into my Etsy and coffee shops. So, that might be, you know, like right now I've got two. Um, but it's the beginning of the month, and I have many, many more planned. Um, I don't know how many of those I'll actually get finished, so don't count on the many, many, many. But um, I would expect that there will be at least four to five digital collections that they will win. Um, so it's definitely worth your time. Um, so if you like what you're seeing here, please do like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and most importantly, comment below. So that you can be entered into the drawing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And anytime you want to check it out, my um, Etsy shop and coffee shops are always linked below in case you want to see what is out there um, before you decide whether you're interested. Okay. So then I'm going to take this hot air balloon. What I'm thinking about actually is maybe we will... Put it right up here. Like this. And maybe we'll put this down here like this. I kind of do like that. And then we could take the lace and maybe Take and put a little piece under here, kind of like that. And over here. Or possibly. Cross like that. Maybe under there and over here. And then I was thinking. We could take this
Let's see. I'm liking this over here really well. I like this here, but I'm not crazy about this. And I'm actually thinking about using this on the postcard instead of under it. Kind of like that, but still turning this into a pocket. So a side loading pocket. Also, because this is going to have the holes punched down here, I'm trying to decide if I want this to have holes punched or if I want to move it to this side. I'm thinking I'm going to move it to that side, and then it can be a loading pocket here. Of course, we could put this lace under here, kind of like this. Right, and then have it load at the top. So we just need the scrap of. Oh, maybe we'll just put it right there. We just need a scrap of lace. We could put it here, or alternatively, we could put it all the way across the bottom, like so. My sewing machine is still not set up, or that would be ideal. Let's try this. What if we did this? What if we went all the way across here? That kind of covers up that. And then we could take this and go across the top here, like that. Maybe just like that. Kind of like it. And then I was thinking, I might get some washi and Just like that, maybe. And then maybe 
we should move. I feel like I want to put something over that. Um, I'm happy with this side. I feel like I want something there. Thinking about the lace, what if we did this instead? And we could even do lace all the way down this side instead of what we were going to do. Do it like that. Let's do that. And then we'll just skip this lace altogether. Okay, so let's do the paper lace down this side or possibly along the bottom. And I've got this, which I was thinking would be good down the side as well. This washi. And then we could just do that and then do that on top. Let's do that. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. So let's see what's been going on in everybody's lives the last little while. Um, You know, sometimes life just goes off and kicks you in the pants, right? So I hope that there has been no pants kicking for you. Sometimes you just have to decide that it's not going to beat you. I'm trying to decide that. I'm trying to just say nope. <sighs> I have to tell y'all what I did. So I decided that I wanted to get a pixie cut. Um, I had, you know, long hair. And uh, I decided I wanted to get a pixie cut. So I picked one out. And I went to the um, beauty shop. And I don't know why, instead of showing her the picture of what I wanted, I described it to her. Well, she started cutting. It did not come out the way I had envisioned it or the way the picture looked but I thought it was cute so I was like okay well I can deal with this you know it's cute so everybody loved it you know my husband my son my people at work claim to anyway <laughs> um but uh and then I called my daughter, well, I would called my daughter already before I got the hair cut. And I asked her if she would color my hair and put highlights in it. And she's like, sure. And I'm like, okay, so the highlights I want are cherry red. So I want you to color it brown, kind of a dark brown, and give it some cherry red highlights. Okay, not a problem. So I got it cut yesterday morning, like I said, and then last night my daughter came over and she colored it. Now she had picked out the colors for me, but they were good. I mean, they looked good to me. And so she colored it and she put the cherry red highlights in it. Well, actually it was kind of a burgundy and... Um,
But the thing was that uh, the uh, brown was so dark that the burgundy doesn't show so great. Um, we're gonna we're talking about um, bleaching the ends and then going back and um, doing it again so that it'll show more. But anyway, but it was okay. You know, I mean, like I said, it wasn't anything like my vision. But it was okay. So then, I'm not thinking anything about it at all. And my son and daughter-in-law come over this morning to um, pick my husband up because he's going to San Antonio with them for a couple of days. And they look horrified and then it strikes me that my hair is almost identical to my daughter's my daughter-in-law's hair except for the cherry red highlights which don't show very much and I gotta be honest it was a little hurtful <laughs> that they looked so struck by that but at the same time, I thought, oh my God, I did not mean to do that. And that is a little bit awkward. So, but I don't know what I can do about it outside of when I get my highlights, it will not be like that, you know. But... Oh, well, it is what it is, right? Okay, I like that. I kind of, in retrospect, wish that I had left it longer on the sides, and then it wouldn't be anything like that. Because um, she did ask me if I wanted it over the ears or if I wanted it, um, you know, longer. And at the time, I wasn't thinking about it. But, um, it's okay. It is what it is. I'm going to let it grow back out, and then I'm going to have her cut it the longer way. Um, And in the meantime, I will uh, get my highlights in. So, yeah, that's what's going on in my world. What's going on in yours? <laughs> Hopefully something more exciting than that. Okay, um, so before we go any further, I want to put the holes back in it. I also want to go ahead and round the corners. I'm thinking it would be fun to add a person or two.
seeing this as, you know, grandma, mom, daughter. Maybe mom is getting remarried. And you got grandma, mom, and daughter there. Maybe, maybe mom is a widow and daughter is not happy about mom getting remarried because the stepdad takes mom's time away. Or because, I don't know. Maybe daughter just doesn't like the new guy. We'll put that right there just for, just for because, is that a sticker or is that like chipboard? I do believe it's chipboard. Just occurred to me I should have inked it. So I'm liking that. That's all right. Um, maybe it's not perfect, but it's kind of cute. It's got a story behind it. And then I saw it. Maybe we will... Yep, I think we will. Right across there like that. But first let's trim this kind of almost even. And then we can come right across here like that. It's not really even. It's all kind of crooked. Do we care? No, we do not. What do y'all think? Is there anything else it needs? Or are we calling it done? By the way, you'll notice that my little 
applicator does it says vintage photo but this is not my vintage photo this is my walnut stain um, I'm not sure where the rest of my applicators are I'm gonna get one for the walnut stain but for right now because I don't want to use the like makeup brush ones um, for everything for some things like this I find this is um, seems to work better so all right we're calling it done guys we are calling it done I think it is finished. This is Collage with Christy number 23. Um, for those of you who are playing along, our prompts were, um, or are, a garden, a hot air balloon, which you'll see right there, sort of. <laughs> um, uh, my mind just went blank, guys. Help me. Oh, lace, and then our bonus is a postcard. So, there we are. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful, or at the very least entertaining. I hope that you crafted along with me, and I hope you'll join me again for another video very soon. If you like what you saw today, be sure and give me a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more from this channel. Hit that subscribe button, and if you click the little bell, it will notify you every time I upload a new video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're crafting today. Drop me some pictures. I'd love to see them. I'll talk with all of you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.